right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night So here's the heavyweight hopeful Curtis Razor Blades. He's done a whole lot of winning in the UFC. It seems like most of the guys he tries to take down, he is able to do so. What have you seen from Curtis Blades thus far in the octagon? Curtis Blades has only been beaten by Francis Ngannou in his UFC career. So when you set him against anyone else, he's the guy that is more likely to get his hand raised. It's the wrestling ability. It's the cardio. And it's the underrated striking of Curtis Blades that makes him one of the best heavyweights in the entire world. Won a JUCO National Championship as a wrestler at Harper College. That came after he earned a full ride to Northern Illinois University. Looking to put his best foot forward here tonight and potentially earn his first UFC championship opportunity. Well, it is the venue in which every UFC athlete hopes to one day compete, and we are now ready to go from Madison Square Garden here in New York City. Our tale of the date for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Curtis Razor. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action Ready. inside the octagon. Do it. Well, it has been a constant evolution when it comes to the UFC heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blade. Certainly you know about the takedown game, and how soon will he go to it tonight? Because as the striking continues to catch up to the wrestling, that figures to present Blades with a lot of different options that he can employ on fight. And there it is, too easy, too predictable. Curtis Blades getting a takedown. He has more of those than any heavyweight in UFC history. He is the most heavyweight willing wrestler there is in the UFC. He's huge. He goes forward, he presses, and the guy has a junior college national championship, and he is not afraid to use it when he goes into the octagon. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Takes his back. Blades is able to flatten him out now. This could be real trouble now. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice positional control here. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Curtis Blades. I don't 
Blades is much safer position there being inside control. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Blades. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Blades is right back to the full mount. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Referee help here. This is the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Blades making these ground strikes count. Now he's got a good body position, yup. And very effective with the ground and pound. Great shot from the top position. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Control the hands. Control the hands. Watch yourself. Control this is where he wants to be. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Curtis Blades. Another strike gets through from the top position. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Blades has got his back yet again. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Blades is right back to the full mount here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Using a lot of good movement. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Blades is really pressing the issue now, and he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. Scramble. 20 get seconds up. left. He's having his way with him here. While well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Blades. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Stop! We lost that last round. The boxing is a little sluggish. You need to get back on your toes a little bit. Where's your bounce? Start popping that jab in his face. Let's move him. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. And then when his opponent tried to straight combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Oh, right in the mound. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, he's got his back. Right into side control. 
Blades is back in full mount. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. The ground strikes continue to pile up. He's got to be careful here. Constantly a moving target. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love his accuracy, his ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Three minutes and change to go in round two. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Blades. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not Work, touching. Every punch Work. that lands, he wants you to feel it. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Hey, Gotta be careful here. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Beautiful transition. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on He's got to start throwing down. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Under 30 seconds. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close his face. Good work from the top here by Blades. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter. But he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. That's a good strike right there. Oh, perfect head kick there. Didn't see that one coming. Gets tagged with a nice.
nice combination to the head. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Curtis Blades. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Oh my goodness! Straight right, he misses. He's got that single collar tie locked in. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Hammer fist here by Blades. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, right into Mount. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Well, he's got his back now. Now he's going full mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Nice shots landing from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Curtis Blades. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Blades. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Working out of the half guard here. Great job landing from the top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. While well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Curtis Blades. That eye's starting to close. Big ground and pound. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Flades. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Posture's up now. Oh, and good livers. Huge punch to the head there. All right, so the round is over, and this fighter's eye is swollen shut. Well, not quite. 
but it's getting worse at this point in time, and it's certainly something that bears watching the cut man in there quickly. He has applied the end swell, but I'm not sure this fighter's gonna be able to answer the bell here for this next round. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Nice jab. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the island. Yeah, looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that strike suggests there might be some sort of damage. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't gonna get the job done tonight. He did not address him early enough. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Keep moving. Keep moving. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Oh, he got to his spot. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Under three minutes to go in round four. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. He's continuing to target that area that's swelling, and it's getting worse every time he hits it. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Blades. Oh, nice. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? So an opportunity goes by the Bulls. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent is Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area again. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy is taking a beating, and the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect. <laughs> Under a minute to go. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're oh! the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to... Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. It's pretty 
fast jab. Well, when you absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call him the right side position? Well, right now, yeah. I feel like a bit, a little bit of a... So the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Don't be stupid. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do we it. have arrived at this fifth and final round. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling. Oh, oh how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really bad. They're going to have a lot of cleanup to do before our next time. Yes, they're going to have a lot of cleanup. I mean, honestly, I'm part of the, the thing, right? You go into a bloody octagon, you fight, you wrestle. It is what it is at that point, you know? Yeah. That's the beauty in being at the end of the night. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Beautiful kick there. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Oh! That is it! Holy smokes! With a massive highlight at the garden! Oh my goodness. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.